So this is a high-speed recap of the operation of a DC motor. The DC motor principle is if you place a current carrying conductor within a magnetic field, it will be pushed out of it. Here I've drawn a loop, not a single straight wire, but a loop of conductor, which is what would happen in a motor. And if we label up the magnetic field as north to south, we'll just consider very quickly what happens in the operation. If we pass a current into this loop, the current goes in there, it's going to go that way, across the back, and then it's going to come out this way and out there. And in a real motor, this loop would be connected to the commutator at this point. So if we just look at the magnetic fields for a moment, we can do this diagram and this diagram at the same time. This is a section through here. So this is north and this is south, so north and south. And these are the two sections of the loop which are within the magnetic field. Here current is going in, in. Here current is coming out towards us, coming out. And we can look at the magnetic fields. If we move to this diagram, then the magnetic field around each conductor, this bit and this bit, is going to be going in some sort of a loop. So this one is clockwise, and this one is anti-clockwise. And the main field going from north to south wants the easiest path. So it's going to go in the same direction as this bit here and the same direction as that bit there. So the magnetic field from the north to south poles is going to go over here and under here, over here and under here. If we have a look on this diagram for a moment, then that means that the magnetic field is around there and this magnetic field is around there that way. If we look at the movement, finally, these two magnetic fields are strong, as are these. This is weak. This will be pushed down and this will be pushed up. Assuming this would be on a spindle in the middle, this is going to begin to start to rotate. So on the diagram at the top, the magnetic fields are going to go over here and under there. And that's going that way. In a real motor, we won't have just one single loop of wire. We'll have multiple loops with multiple connections made to the commutator. These conductors are usually made of groups of wire laid into slots in the armature, and that is shown on the photographs which appear on your handout.